In this problem, we have a graph that represents some real-world problem, and we're being asked to answer some questions about this graph. In this case, there's a pond, uh, and water is being added to the pond. So they've plotted here the time that the water's been running and how many liters in the pond. So here's time down at the bottom. Uh, so at time zero, there were 100 liters in the water in the pond of water in the pond. So I guess that means that that's how much there was to start with, and then it just goes up from there. So let's see if we can answer these questions. A says, how much does the amount of water increase for each hour that the water is added? Well, if at zero, time zero, I'm at 100. Let's see where we're at at time one. That's 400. So the difference there is 300. So it looks like it went up 300 in that first hour. Let's just check the second hour, too. So at the end of hour two, it's at 700, and it started at four at the end of hour one. So that's a 300 increase as well. So it looks like every single hour, it's going up by 300. So that's 300. And then they're asking us, what is the slope of the line? Well, and the slope of the line is the relationship of the change in the y, so how much it's going up or down, uh, to the relationship of the change in x. So really, you can think of this as change in y over change in x. In this case, that is 300 that it went up for the y over one hour that went by for x. So the slope here is 300. Sometimes people say slope is rise over run, and that's really just another way of saying this. On the graph, it's how much it goes up over how much it goes over. In this case, that is 300 over 1 or just 300. Slope is a way to measure how steep a line is. In this case, we've got a pretty steep line. 